We are outside of Target, one of the places where employees may participate in a May Day strike nationally. Now, these are protests, uh, as you mentioned, that have often uh, been about workers' health and safety conditions, trying to improve those conditions. And that's been very much a real concern as we've seen uh, today with the spread of COVID-19. Circulating social media, major retailers like Amazon, Whole Foods, Walmart, as well as hospitals are among a handful of the places employees are expected to either walk off the job or call in sick today. You'll recall a month ago, workers at Amazon in New York City staged a walkout, as well as 10,000 Instacart workers. Employees at Whole Foods also called in sick in mass, making a point that quality work conditions and their lives matter now more than ever during the coronavirus pandemic. They're also pushing for hazard pay and sick leave. Traditionally, labor unions and non-labor workers alike would have marched or picketed on May Day. But this year, social distancing puts large gatherings on hold. Instead, frontline workers are expected to skip their shifts. Citizens are also becoming upset they can't go back to work or operate their businesses. In Lansing yesterday, protesters demanded the governor loosen shelter-in-place orders so they could start making a living once again. Now, Amazon said in a statement, and I'll quote here, while we respect people's right to express themselves, we object to the irresponsible actions of labor groups in spreading misinformation and making false claims about Amazon during this unprecedented health and economic crisis. We have gone to extreme measures to understand and address this pandemic, end quote. Now, many companies have uh, put safety measures in place, including providing PPE for their employees, and some are doing temperature checks. Reporting live, Darren Cunningham, 7 Action News.